So figuring out how you're going to get fresh drinkable water when you're camping is a pretty big concern. If you're primitive camping, meaning that you're hiking in a couple of miles from where you parked your car, then you're probably not going to be able to carry all the water that you need in with you. Um, I did used to do that when I first started camping, just because it seemed like the most comfortable and safest way to go. Um, I had a couple of five gallon jugs and I would fill them before I left. And it meant taking a lot of breaks when, when we were hiking in. But at the same time, I knew the water was, was safe to drink and I just knew that I could bring in everything I possibly wanted and it just made me feel really comfortable. The other cool thing about bringing in big jugs of water is you can tie rope around them and hang them from trees and then you've got running water. So that's kind of neat. Any water that you find when you're camping in a river or a lake or a stream, um, you're, you're not going to be able to drink because it's filled with bacteria and viruses. You can boil all that water. So so if you boil water for five minutes, then it's safe to drink. The thing is, then you've got hot water. Um, you also are going to use up a lot of your firewood if you have to boil all the water you want to drink. So it's, it's not very practical to do, but it can be done. If you boil your water, you should just plan on bringing something to store the water in once it's boiled and, and let it cool. The other thing you can invest in is a purifier or a filter. And you're looking at spending between 50 and 200 bucks on, on something like that. But that's probably the safest, most reliable, and most practical way to make sure the water that you find is drinkable and safe for you to drink. Um, there's lots of different options on the market. The one that I have is a pump, so it's a filter. The water runs through a tube, through the filter, and into the, the container you're going to use for drinking, but you have to pump all the water. So that's the part that's that's the downside to the filter that I have on the other hand there's something called like a steri pen which is awesome and it's it's basically sterilizing all the water that it's placed into that's on the expensive end of the spectrum lastly you should probably plan for a last a worst case scenario situation and bring some iodine tablets they'll pur purify any water they're going to make the water taste like iodine and it's also not safe for you to consume large amounts of iodine. So the tablets like that are just used in, in emergency situations. When it comes to purifying water, it's water is a necessity. You're going to need it. So it's just a matter of figuring out what solution you're comfortable with in terms of ease when you're camping and how much money you want to spend. Mm -hmm.